And thanks for staying with us. Nigeria is in recession, but Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo is optimistic the country's fourth quarter performance will take it into the positive territory. If the nearly three percentage point increase from the second quarter's minus 6.1 percent decline is sustained. Professor Oshimbajo made this known during his virtual participation at the Nigerian Economic Summit. He believes effects of the decline, which came after 12 quarters of positive growth, will be mitigated through the Economic Sustainability Plan. The Vice President also adds that the Finance Bill's provisions on tax and duties reduction will help cushion effects of the times on the common man. These are the third quarter figures on gross domestic product by the National Bureau of Statistics, which showed a decline in growth of minus 3.62% in that quarter. We must bear in mind that this decline was after 12 successive quarters of positive growth and came about as a result of the severity of the global downturn caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, including lockdowns, disruption in global supply chains, business failures, and rising unemployment. We can all, of course, recall that during the lockdown, farming did not take place. Businesses were closed. Schools were closed, as were hotels and restaurants, and also airlines stopped flying. While interstate commerce was disrupted, the retail trade, of course, uh, also dropped. Now let's bring in an economist, Professor Ken Ife, who joins us to share his thoughts on the state of the economy. Professor Ife, thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7. Well, thank you very much. Sometime in March, you were quoted to have state, uh, said that um, there is no prospect of Nigeria going into recession or the imminence of major devolution of the Naira. I believe that you were referring to the fact that the macroeconomic fundamentals today are far stronger and more robust than what we had in 2014-2016. Uh, what do you think happened precisely? Uh, what happened was... Um the COVID-19 did two things to our economy. One was that the supply chain disruptions coming from the advanced nations meant that we couldn't lay our hands on, on many of the things that we needed for our industries. 80% of our industries are dependent on imported raw materials. Over 90% of our pharmaceutical companies almost they'll get all their uh, active pharmaceutical ingredients from abroad, notably India. So this India couldn't supply. Many of the countries were not even supplying. They were holding back on their stock. And even rice, can you believe? Thailand and all these Philippines, they all started holding back. So if the central bank didn't take the action it took by by diverting resources, putting a lot of resources to, to, to get 4 million farmers now in 4 million hectares producing rice and some of the 10 presidential agro-value chains, we would have been in serious trouble. Absolutely. Let's talk then about the, the impact second thing of that he did. The second thing that okay. he did was that the oil price collapsed mm. to, minus, to about $28 from $57 benchmark. And then the production volumes dropped from 2.1 million barrels a day to even 1.3 million barrels a day. So that is the double hit. So given, given that 90% of our foreign revenue come from oil, the, it, the impact is devastating because where are you going to get the dollars to, to pay for imports? Uh, and so people have to now go to black market to find money and look at the spread between the official rates at 381 naira to one dollar to 470 something to one dollar there's a big spread of over 90 naira between the official rate which is even been devalued and the and the black market rate and whatever happens people still import and they have to pass through the the high prices to the consumers and that's why inflation is 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 on the high is on the high absolutely uh, and Agriculture subsidies. So there's a lot going on that we never anticipated. 
At that, then you now had a shutdown, a lockdown. Lockdown now affected the food supply chain. It stopped transportation. It affected all other factors. The whole aviation everywhere. Absolutely. So, We're no, only going to hope that the vice president's optimism uh, in some way will reflect uh, on the economy, especially uh, talking about uh, looking forward to the country's fourth quarter performance. A big thank you, Professor Kennedy. Thank you for talking to us on TVC News at 7. My, my pleasure. Outside Nigeria.